Hi, I'm Yuna Smith from uh, the Olivier's Lundy County Musée, otherwise the Tea Rose, and we have a craft shop, also the uh, Paddle House Museum. Today we're going to show you some of the crafts that we have from our crafters. How long have you been here? Uh, we have been here, the well, Tea Rose is here 22 years, uh, the craft shop is about the same, and the museum is here a little longer than that. But we officially became a member of the Academy Museum Network um, about five years ago. We host many artists uh, here. If you like, we will give you a tour of the things that we have here. And uh, you can have a look, see what our artists create and the wonderful work that they do. And we will start off, I guess, with uh, the lovely bags that uh, we have Erica Kirby. From Marystown, she does these, and some of the patterns she does her own self, and uh, she prints it and does her bags. We don't have any with the name land yet on it now. We did, but we don't have any here now. Uh, these bags are done by another lady in Marystown. Uh, she is Marguerite Power, as you can see. She does a beautiful job as well. We sell quite a lot of bags here for the summer. We have woodworking by a number of people. We have uh, Randy Kimway from Bain Harbor. We have uh, Cheryl Ryder from Marystown. We have lots of uh, turned wood items by Eddie King and uh, Gerard Dix. And as we go along, there's as you can see, there's quite a variety of things done by many, many different people. Uh, we have uh, quilts, crocheted items. We have a lot of different people who do our, our quilting and knitting and crocheting. Uh, from all, everything is local, close to the area, the majority. We have uh, charcuterie boards, all handmade. We also have, uh, getting into our knitting area now, we keep everything all over the place going up. We have sweaters, kids' sweaters, knit by a variety of people from all around on the island. As well as we even have some uh, little kitty things that are crocheted. As well as stockings, hats, mittens all over the place. This, uh, these things right here. Very nice for to put on the outside of your house. And these artists, they live around here? They all live around here, the majority. Um, these are, uh, this is a Kenway from uh, Bain Harbor who does the flowers. We have a lady from Bolt Harbor, Trixie Grout, who does quilting and a lot of uh, different like mug rugs, um, a variety of things she does. Uh, we have the lady who does a lot of crocheting from Bain Harbor. She does the little kid toys over here as well. Um, right here we have aprons. We have aprons in here from the tiniest little size to adult sizes. We don't have a lot right now because it's getting late in the season. But they are so very cute. And we also have like our crochet. Crochet sweaters is a big thing that's coming uh, back in style again. We have sold quite a few of those. Dolls clothes. Trixie Greg once again. All handmade. Everything is handmade. We have baby wear. We have table runners. Quite a variety of different styles, colors. Uh, placemats done by a variety of, of uh, sewers. Bags again, once uh, again by Marguerite Power. This quilt here is a beautiful quilt by Violet Smith in Brookside. I believe she said this one's called a log cabin. And uh, different artists here doing quilting and crocheting. We have the poke mat. This is done by Sadie Cheeseman in the shoe. Once again, another beautiful crochet sweater. 
and our adult size sweaters. This is what we have left now. We will be getting more in at a later time. And we have hats, beautiful hats, one with the Republic of Newfoundland flag, mittens, and hat set. Our knitters are, are very, very good knitters. Everything is done by hand. And these paintings are done by a lady, Marjorie Keeping, in Brookside. She is multi-talented. She can paint. She can do almost anything. I, I believe she dreams it up at night and gets up in the morning and does it. <laughs> And uh, let's see, over here we have more quilts. And what are you wearing? What am I wearing? These are knit slippers that we sell here. <laughs> we have quite a bin full over there. One of the ladies that work here uh, does a lot of the slippers that we sell. Another crochet sweater. And we have a, a Christmas Advent calendar. Another beautiful quilt by Trixie Gray. We've sold a lot of quilts here this summer. Do you have many quilters in the area? We do. There are several different quilters here right now. We have, uh, actually there's several different quilting groups. Uh, there is a quilting group that does their quilts. They have a long arm sewing machine and they do their quilting uh, once a week, I think they get together. And uh, some of those ladies are in that group. We have placements, kids placements and little mug rugs. These quilts up here are uh, a Sadie Murphy from Parker's Gold did that one. And Tricks are great to get on with the Liam Settlement. Here's our slippers, our slipper bin. A wide variety of colors, styles, sizes. Do you host um, any activities, courses here? We do. Uh, we haven't had a lot this year, but we do try to get um, painting classes, rug hooking, rug poking. In the fall or the winter we do um, an art day once a week, a uh, craft day, and that will begin this Wednesday actually will be our first one for this year. And uh, we have a lot of people who come in sometimes, not sometimes not as many, but it's just to get together, uh, do a little craft, uh, people can bring their own items. If they don't do a craft, you can come and bring a book with you, sit and read, or just to mingle with the people and have an afternoon out. And uh, it's nice to be able to get together and sometimes you can share different patterns or different ideas and uh, you can learn from each other. If someone doesn't know how to crochet and wants to learn, someone who's there who can crochet can teach them how to crochet. Same with knitting, sewing, whatever. But we do have a wide variety of very talented people. Hi, my name is Cindy. My little business, home business, is called Cindy's Crafts and Creations. Uh, this is one of the items that I do. I am inspired by Newfoundland things. That's what gets me going. So this is one thing that I did. There are some other pictures that I did. What inspires you? Uh, what inspires me is that I love Newfoundland. Newfoundland is, gets me going like I love the birds, like the puffins. Um, the mummers is another thing that I like to do, which is d does with Newfoundland. Because there's a lot of people away that love Newfoundland and their tradition. And that's why, because I lived away, I lived in Alberta. and. I love to come home and get little gifts to take back to friends and family and even for my own collection and out there like we did Christmas trees and stuff so then that inspired me to do little things like this and then like the Newfoundland flag because Newfoundland is a beautiful province and I'm proud to say I'm from Newfoundland and then here is a little bottle of sea glass I love to go on the beach and click sea glass 
and then there's body little different things that come from the sea, little treasures. And then once again, I take a, a scallop shell and then I turn other shells into little tree ornaments. And then I'm a big lover of mummers, so then there's a little cutting board with mummers on it. And then for all the little gnome lovers, I do the Newfoundland tartan, which reflects back to Newfoundland again, and different little things. And they're coming up for um, Halloween and the fall. I do like little pumpkins and other little crafts. And then a lot of people are into the little tear trays that they put on their tables. So I reflect to these like, like the little summer watermelon with a rolling pin. And then because we are Newfoundland and proud, I did the little tag with Newfoundland. And then other little things for tear trays, like for Christmas, all different seasons. So I do a little bit of other things. And then this one is a sun catcher. It just peels off the back and you stick it on your window and then you get the rays of the sunshine. So the rainbow. Where do you show your work? Uh, I show my work on Facebook under my page or under my website and it's called Cindy's Crafts and Creations. I just kind of uh, just do this. This is my uh, safety net. I don't do much. This is when I need something to do or I'm, I don't really do much so that I just craft. Craft is my place to go and like I knit and I do variety of cross stitching. So that's my thing. When I need something to do besides housework and look after my family, I go and do crafts.